by Miss Moore, aka Mickey Boo. Welcome back. Thanks for being consistent. Um, this is Tap In, Tap Out. Uh, we are doing exercises on when we should give in or take a step back from world and spiritual affairs. So we're going to start off positive affirmations, which is I am strong, I am great, I am powerful, I am kind, I am a piece of God, I am unique, I am rare, I share, I care, I teach, I learn, I am a great mother, I'm a great father, I'm a great brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whatever position you play, speak those things out. I also am abundance, prosperity, peace, and I want more of that to come into my life. All right, great guys, let's get started. So this has been on my mind, right? Um, there was a situation with my sister, and this is what I was thinking about on the way to picking up her child for her. Yes, I was a little like, ugh, why can't you bring the baby to me? Why do I have to come get your baby? But then I had to realize, like, Mickey, you are a mom. You had your uh, struggling uh, points where you needed help or you wasn't quite sure how to properly handle a situation. So as I was thinking about these things, it played out in my mind that say, for instance, we have a book. I was going to draw it, but I'm going to write it. We're going to talk about books, right? And we're going to talk about books in a spiritual way. So say, for instance, that, um, no, there's not as many books in the world as it is people. But as many books as there are, I'm pretty sure that it's more pages or about the same amount of pages of people on earth. So this is how I think about us helping people, right? So say I wrote a book for mothers, right? I know for a fact that it will be certain people that will connect to my book. Or what I mean by that is certain people that may understand my book. I understand my sister. She understands me as a parent. There might be somebody out there to understand. Say we got a few mothers that like the book that I wrote, right? Because we see eye to eye on that book, right? So if this book helped this many mothers, and then these mothers go out and help others because of what inspired them. That's how we come together and grow as a whole. I had to tell myself, we are one. And if now you know when you know certain things, you're held accountable for that knowledge that you know. So if I know that we're supposed to help or that I'm supposed to help, if I don't, I would not only fail my sister, I will fail my nephew. So we're all connected. That's why it's so important. If you can be a helping hand, connect with that other person that you need to help and make that happen. Um, so I thought this was a beautiful explanation to how we're supposed to work in the world. We all are a page in somebody's book to where we understand that book. But if we could all, oh, everybody in the world, I know that's a major mission. I know that's a major thing to do. But if we all were on, not only had a page in the book, but if we all were on the same book, if we all not only read the same book, but if we all can get into one book together to where we understand we're speaking the same thing, but we have different ways of explaining it is which make the books different. But if we all came together, just imagine what type of unity and peace or any other incredible term that probably don't even exist yet could be the definition or terminology for what we can be if we were this book that people began to start coming together and connecting. You know, and it's just an outreach and it just keeps spreading. 
and I'm speaking of the goodness. You see that? Like just how it went from these mothers to outside people they know to them connecting to them, but we're all connecting to that one thing. What do you think that is? I'm gonna let you guess. I think that's something that we need to tap into. So another thing I wanted to talk about in this segment was, say that there's a person, right? And they're just going through what they're going through. They're trying to be one of these people that tap into this great success and um, abundant path that we all keep speaking about. So they're picturing their life to be very dark and that they cannot see. And it's all this negativity that's around them, right? So as I was explaining to my brother earlier, people can't see the sunshine of greatness or the report of positivity and blessings pouring in. But every once in a while, because they're surrounded by the negative fence, right? What I was explaining to him was, I wanted to express and show you all a way of when you're walking in darkness and when you're walking in light. I believe when you're walking in darkness that you can't see the blessings because there has been a report that was built of negative things that's coming to you. Every now and then something good come in, but on the back end, the rest of negative energy is still flowing because that's that karmic flow um, of karma. So if you're now walking in the light and you're being positive and you're putting out help and you're doing things and you're having your way and showing your way of giving back, whatever it is that puts you on a higher vibration, even if it's just uh, fasting and isolating yourself for things that doesn't make you happy, when you start walking that path and you get into a clear space where that energy is clearing out, then you will begin to see the, those blessings and that positive energy and stuff flowing in because now you're in the flow of positive energy. So be patient with your process because when you're walking in the darkness and you do not see yet, you're you're still getting those friction negative things linking to you because of the energy that's still around you. But in the process of you coming out of that and building that rapport of positive energy, then when you get in, you're going to get your blessings even where you are today and where you are now, even if you're not happy. But when you start to recognize those small blessings, dwell in the moment and give off positive energy and give the world what you want to give it, then you will begin to see a whole stream of positive energy coming into your life because now you're walking in the light. But when you're walking in the darkness, you don't see it as much. So don't give up hope yet because all of those blessings that is coming back to back to back to back, you will be able to see right now. You just need to get into the space where you clean up that negative fence. And I erased the front because you're coming out of it, but we're going to get to a point where we come completely out of it and you will be walking and blessings all day long. Thank you. That's it for me. Um, reach out to me if you want me to speak more about this topic. I'm Miss Moore, aka Mickey Boo. It was so great sharing with you. This makes me happy. This is why I do it. I do it for you. I love you. Have a great, outstanding day. Bye bye.